My name's uh, Billy Kim, uh, and I'm from the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. I'm a medical oncologist, so I treat primarily patients with uh, cancers. So our work primarily focuses on trying to help predict uh, which patients will respond to certain drugs. One of the main goals in our research in my lab is to see if we can detect by analyzing the tumor itself whether or not a patient would respond to a certain drug and thereby really hopefully save some people from being treated unnecessarily and then enrich for the patient population that will respond uh, and hopefully have benefit from the drugs. As I sat through the grand rounds that were happening at Dana-Farber, I realized that oncology and cancer biology was very driven by genetics and molecular biology. And I felt that to make an impact on cancer, I had to really focus and concentrate and, and really begin to understand these molecular mechanisms of disease because without that, I would be shuffling different chemotherapies around and seeing which one worked better. Uh, and to a certain extent, that's like playing roulette. It's figuring out what works best by chance, uh, as opposed to really trying to understand why cancer happens and then going back and saying, so we now know that these are the important events in cancer. How can we begin to target them? But ultimately, when I'm in clinic, I think about what some of the questions we have in clinic we can't answer. Uh, I automatically think about what can we do in lab or in the lab to try to address those questions. Uh, and by the same token, every project that we do in the lab, uh, I feel always has to have some clinical relevance. You know, I've been personally touched. My father had cancer um, when I was an oncology fellow, and it was very hard to see him kind of go through what we had to go through. Um, and so through that, I think I've had a really big appreciation for both the science behind cancer, but also the clinical care. The Damon Runyon Award uh, was an incredible boost to my career. Upon receiving the award, I thought, you know, someone believes in me. I mean, I knew that my mentor that I did my research postdoc with believed in me, but uh, that, that in no way, shape, or form ever validated that many other people in science believed in me. And I think that uh, it gave me a lot of confidence to feel that, number one, the proposal that that we had done and the idea that we were doing research on was important. Uh, but it also gave me confidence that other ideas that I had floating in my mind were actually important.